In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a fancy colorful glass material in Blender Cycles Render Engine. We'll be recycling a node setup that I showed in a past tutorial, but changing the values up a little bit to make it more suitable for glass objects. This is a very simple and quick node setup, so let's get started. For this setup, I'm going to be using a pre-made glass shader that I have for myself already. However, you can use the standard glass shader node for this, either one works. So go ahead and go into the node editor and press the add button on the bottom or press shift A on your keyboard and search for the texture coordinate node. And then the noise texture node. For the texture coordinate node, we want to drag the object coordinate output into the noise texture's vector input rather than using the generated coordinate output because then it'll repeat the texture rather than stretching the whole texture onto the object. If we plug in our noise texture's color output into our glass shader's color input, barely anything changes. We get just the slightest amount of color added to the glass, but to see more of it, let's decrease the noise texture's scale value to a lower number, one that best fits the object. But we're not going to use the colors from the noise texture, and instead, we're going to be using our own pattern of colors. Press Shift A again on your keyboard and add in a color ramp node. Once you add it in, click Shift D on your keyboard to duplicate that node. For now, we're going to just set aside one of the color ramp nodes and plug in the other one. The long panel with the black and white greeting is the color ramp and what we'll be using to set the colors we want for our glass. Click on the individual sliders and click on the bottom color panel to change its colors. To add even more colors, click the plus icon on the node to add in another slider. You can add in and remove whichever sliders and as many as you want. So spend a few minutes playing around with the colors and the sliders and you might get some interesting results. Once you got a color scheme that you're interested in, add in the other color ramp node in between the noise texture and the original color ramp. We'll be using this color ramp node as our control of the amount and intensity of the colors on our object. And from here, it's just playing around with the sliders until you get a nice blend of colors that fits your object best. Some other things you can do to change it up a little is you can play around with the noise texture's distortion value to get a nice and crazy variation of... um... color... pattern... shaped... a nice variation of color distribution. And to prove from the beginning that this setup works with any glass shader, I'll prove it by swapping my pre-made glass shader to the cycle standard glass shader. Alright, thanks for watching! If you found this tutorial helpful or interesting in any way, please leave a like to show your support, and if you want to see more of my material related tutorials for Blender, subscribe now! My name is Joshua Autumn via 2EasyCG, thanks for watching, and get to Bon Bon!